Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna talk about 3D Touch. How to use 3D Touch on your iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. First, we'll talk about what is 3D Touch, how to use 3D Touch, the best 3D Touch features, and uh, compatible apps as well. Again, I'm your iGadget lady. I do the research so you don't have to. So let's take a look at 3D Touch. What is it? That's probably one of the questions you might have, if you, especially if you're new. 3D Touch, by applying a pressure on your iPhone 6S uh, or 6S Plus, you can actually access app shortcuts, uh, various previews, and I'm sure as more third-party apps hop on board, you're probably gonna be able to do a lot more than that as well. The iPhone 6S screen, it's pressure sensitive, just like that Apple Watch is. And again, depending on how much pressure you apply, that will dictate what is going to happen on your iPhone. So you can also change the settings. So sometimes you can choose to apply firm pressure to activate 3D touch, medium pressure or light pressure I'll show you how to change that really quickly. Go into settings, go to general, down to accessibility, scroll down to 3D touch. One thing you can do, you can turn it off. I mean, this is one of the big selling points of the iPhone 6S, so I have no clue why you'd wanna do that. But the 3D touch sensitivity, again, you can adjust the amount of pressure needed to activate 3D touch. Firm, medium, and light. I've got mine on light. I had it on uh, firm and medium, and I found that I just felt like I was pressing way too hard on my phone. I don't know, call me crazy, but I thought I might break something. <laughs> now, let's take a quick look at some of the stock iPhone apps that support 3D Touch and take a look at what you can do with them. I hit the, cam or the uh, calendar a moment ago. You can quickly add an event. Messages, you'll see your last uh, messages to people and also you can create a new message. Music, you can search, play Beats One. Camera, you can choose to take a selfie, record a video, slow-mo or take a photo. The clock app, I like this one because you can quickly start a timer. And wherever you set that at, that's what that's gonna do. You can create an alarm, start a stopwatch, whatever. I'm shocked the ca uh, calculator doesn't have a shortcut just to, I don't know. I thought it might just to bring it up quicker or do something quick in that. Um, the phone app, let's take a look at this. Again, your last calls, you can also create a new contact. Messages, quickly look at your inbox, VIP, you can do a search or create a new message. Safari, show your reading list, show bookmarks, new private tab or a new tab. The App Store, I love this because you can actually redeem something right from here, or, or that'll take you to exactly where you need to be to type in your code. Prior to that, for me, it was a pain because I used to have to search, like where the heck is that redemption thing at? The watch, uh-oh. I don't know why they don't have anything for that yet. Notes, you can create a new note, add a photo or a new sketch. Maps, directions home, mark your location, send your location to someone or do a search. Nothing on settings. Photos, you can see your most recent favorites or you can do a search. Uh, let's take a look at videos. It'll show some of your videos that you have in there, how many minutes or hours you have remaining, how much time is remaining rather. iBooks, again, you can see some of your movie or uh, the books that you've read. You can see if you finished it, how much you've read on it. Uh-oh, podcast, same thing. It'll show what you're looking at and how much time you've got remaining. 
app store you can shop it shows your apple stores close and keep up take a look at your orders shazam this is pretty cool because you can hit that and shazam now you used to have to uh, open the app and then f- just hit that button but it's pretty easy this way auto shazam visual shazam and you can do a search the iTunes store again I like that redeem you don't have to do searching just hit that and it'll take you right to where you need to type in the code I think that's about it for some of the stock apps see if I missed any Oh, wallet quickly add a card stocks has nothing game center you can send a friend request I'm pretty shocked they haven't done anything with FaceTime either contacts you can create a new contact and this is a neat one here voice memo just by doing that you can start a recording so forget having to search for the app and open it so those are some of the stock apps now let's take a look at some of the third-party apps that are currently working with the uh, 3d touch feature these are just some of the ones that i have on my phone now you may have some that i didn't mention if you do, definitely let me know in the comments below. I, I might check those out. My news. Let's see. Feedly. Uh-oh. That's working. Buffer is working. Quickly compose a message. Pocket. Nope. Flipboard. Yes. Buzzfeed. Yep. The Apple News, of course. And I'm kind of surprised Bing isn't working yet. So those are some of the uh, news apps that are working right now. As far as the social apps that I found that are working right now, Pinterest, Google Plus, nope. Hootsuite, nope. LinkedIn, yes. Dig, yes. Anybody still using Dig these days? (laughs) Twitter, Twitter's working. Tumblr is not working and paper is not working. So those are some of the social apps that I found. When I go into entertainment, Amazon is on it. I mean, most of the apps that Amazon has are responsive to the 3D touch feature. Netflix, nope. Flickster, HBO Go, Redbox, none of those work. So let's move on to health and fitness. Again, these are just some of the apps on my phone. Lose it, that works. You can easily record your weight, log exercise, log food, scan a barcode. My fitness pal, nope. Argus, nope. I'll tell you this though, I found some other compatible apps. Um, when I did a search on uh, the web, uh, I found one on Redmond's Pi, Redmond Pie's website. I'm going to leave you a link to that below. It had a pretty extensive list of some of the uh, third-party apps that are utilizing uh, 3D Touch right now. Some of them included uh, Open Table, Magic Piano, Camera Plus, and Instagram. So again, I'll leave that link below. Now, let's get into some of the best 3D touch features that I found as well. I wanna share those with you. Some things, cool things you can do with 3D touch. Um, One thing that you can do that I like is you can preview a playlist. So if you go to your music app and you open that up, and I'm under playlist now. Uh Uh-oh, did that a little too fast, so let me go back. You can peek. And you can take a look at the music uh, playlist and then you can pop and you're there. So I thought that was pretty cool being able to do that with a a, a playlist and preview it. Another thing you can do is preview a web page by pressing a link. So I'm going to open up my mail app. So here I'm popping that. Let's see if there's some links in this one. Here's one right here. Well, yeah. And you can peek at that and see if you even want to go there. (laughs) I'm shocked that says iDroid. (laughs) 
but it has an Apple logo anyway. So that's a pretty neat feature there. Again, you can uh, peek at any links. Sometimes it takes a moment to uh, open. So again, that's a really cool feature. I like that as well. Um, another thing you can do, you can preview f uh, photos and videos by pressing the thumbnail. So I'm gonna go to my camera app. Let me see, I was doing a little cooking yesterday. Done. So I think that's pretty cool too. You can also do that in uh, videos as well. And peek at some of the videos, hit play right there, and then it'll pop into it if you want. You can peek, whatever. These are some old movies. I haven't ordered anything new in a while. Um, let's see, what else can you do? Um, you can preview, um, uh, actually with email, you can send a message uh, to someone or call someone just by pressing the 3D uh, touch on the apps icon. So if we go here, if I wanted to make a call, I could do that and just call them right there. Another thing I wanted to show you that you can do is that you can actually just hard press or use 3D Touch in your contacts app, hard press the name, and it'll allow you to either call, FaceTime, send a message. So that's a pretty neat thing there. iBook, that's pretty cool too. If you open it up, you can take a look, and I've got audiobooks in here too. You can see how much time you have left. So see there, I've got 50 minutes left. Apple Music, the book I was reading says 3% left of that. One of the other neat things you can do, you can access the uh, multitasking really quick by pressing there. I found that it works a lot more easily if I get right to the edge here and do it because sometimes when I was doing it, I would just go into that wiggle mode. So again, just right on the edge there and that'll activate that for you. So that's a sh quick and easy shortcut. So say for instance, one of your friends sends you over uh, a text with directions. You can just use your 3D touch to get a peek at it a little harder. You can pop and activate directions. Another tip for you in your messages app, you can tap on a name, hard press. It'll open up this pop-up and you can choose to do a quick reply or you can make a custom message. I wanna show you how you use 3D Touch and turn your keyboard into a trackpad. So say for instance, you're typing something, you wanna go back, just hard press on that, and now you've got a virtual trackpad. Another thing you can do is with 3D Touch, it changes the pressure that you use. So again, it's pressure sensitive. I'm gonna pull up a marker here, and I'll show you so. I'll just put my, and you see there, now when I apply more pressure, you can see it's darker. So that's kind of neat there too, is that just by applying pressure, it gets a little darker. I wanted to show you something else in the Messages app. Say for instance, if I peek at this message, I can decide to either mark it as red or I can delete it. Uh oh. Or I can delete it right from there. Another tip I want to show you on the mail app is that again, you can peek, you can slide up, and you can decide to reply, forward, mark as read, notify, or move the message. So, another quick, neat little feature with the mail app. Another neat feature is the live photos wallpaper. To activate that, again, 3D touch on your lock screen. Pretty cool. 
However, this only works on your lock screen. So if you've got it, a live uh, photo as your background on your home screen, it's not gonna work. Well, that's about it. I hope this helped you get better use of your 3D touch on your new iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. And if you have something that I didn't mention below, feel free to shoot me a note in the comments section. Let me know what you're using 3D Touch for and also what's your favorite feature. Also, please like and subscribe so that I can keep bringing these videos to you. Also, be sure to check out the website, www.myapplegadgets.com and subscribe to our newsletter there so you'll never miss a beat. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.